Okay, I promise I'll get into the point in the video right now. Okay, don't get on to me. But you you want to know something? You you find it funny, you know? I want to jump off Demon Island. You know, my, my nearest Demon Island at the moment, fam. Uh, do you get what I'm saying? It is... Bro, I just recorded this video, yeah? Uh, you know, the first thing that happened to me in the video was like, Q King's Pass. And I said, I literally said in the video, I said, I wonder if Q and King's Pass is my first game on all the time is actually a good or bad omen. I wonder if it means that nothing else can go wrong in my day, you know, and that's the worst thing that can happen, or if it's just a sign of things to come, you know, and I'll get into like, like a fatal collision on my way to work or something. You know what the next thing that happened is, is my mic just gave out for the rest of the video and made the most ear piercing, fucking disgusting sound you could imagine. And now I have to re-record the whole video and I have work in like 10 minutes. So it's doomed, fam, you know? But, you know, I'll, I'll get sacked. I'll get fired from my job for you lot any day of the week. Become a channel member. <laughs> Please. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. Point of today's video being that uh, a new legend is coming already. Which is, I say this almost every time a new legend gets announced. Because I think my sense of time is just really fucking awful. But this time I can say it with my full chest. Like, it's been two fucking minutes since Loki came out, fam. So I don't know how already we're getting a new legend. But if you think I'll complain, you know, you're you're dead wrong. So new legend coming. Um, and it's getting revealed in literally three days. Which is like, like I said, bro, this is ridiculously quick. Uh, it's getting revealed for BCX. And BCX starts on Friday. And today is Tuesday. So, you know, we do the fucking mathematics. And then you will discover that, yeah, three days. And we're, we're, we're finding out that not only like the design. Well, maybe we won't even find out the design is the thing. But we're finding out the important thing anyway, which is the, the weapon combination. But yeah, like I said, you know, realistically, you know, I mean, there's going to be some people that are interested in the design. There's going to be some people that want to know what the, the six new SIGs will be. But for the most part, what matters when a new legend is coming out is the, the weapon comp, right? And, and yeah, we're finding that out on, well, I would imagine Friday. Uh, that's when BCX starts and they said, you know, it's during BCX that they're revealing it. Um, so... There we go. We, we know the, the fucking, the, basically the whole legend. Because like I said, that's the important bit. Realistically, anyway. You know, that's the fucking important bit. Um, I don't know. I don't know why they wouldn't also reveal the design. Uh, I remember when boots were revealed, right? Like the new weapon. Um, a legend came out that was just like, like at BCX, you could test boots out, right? And it was on like a like a silhouette player. Like the player was just fully blacked out like a like a locked character. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, maybe that'll be the case. Maybe because they've not finished, like they've not finalized the design. Um, in which case, I don't know why they're revealing it because it will probably be a while until it comes out, right? In that case. So I don't know, but we'll, you know, we'll fucking see. Uh, personally, I, w I, I think it will be canon. I think it's almost guaranteed to be canon. Canon is, I mean, bro, there's five canon legends in this game. That's almost the same amount as fucking Greatsword. Uh, you know, boots, I think there's what, three boots legends? Like, bro, five cannon legends for how long that weapon has actually existed in, in Brahalla is ridiculous. Is this guy actually just pressing six? I think it's a a battle pass mission type of type of deal. Um, I'll just go next if that's the case, because I, I don't want you lot to have to <laughs> have to watch this. Yeah, this is this is fucking shocking. I think he started to play the game now a little bit. And before he leaves. I would not be surprised at all if that happened. No, my luck today, especially. Uh, anyway, though, yeah, um, I, I personally I would not be surprised if it was like cannon boots. Uh, but to give you lot some some context, please, maybe to help you lot out with the, uh, do you get what I'm saying? The the fucking whatever you know the challenge thing that they've got going on where you got to guess. Uh, which once again, if I didn't already say it, I'm not sure. I can never trust myself, so I'll I will make sure that you know uh, is on their Twitter. At the moment, you can go over there, scan some QR code, and you can, you can go guess what the weapon comp is. Uh, but it's been, like I said, Axe has gone the longest about, but I think it will be canon, considering there's a lot of Axe legends, but there's five canon legends. So it will most definitely be canon. It might, but I think so anyway. I mean, bro, I always say this, you can never guess with BMG, and there's almost never a point in trying to guess, because it's just, it's fucking RNG, bro. It's RNG. But also, as you can see here, uh, with Greatsword, at least, there was Jayon, Mako, Magyar, and then there was a two legend break before another Greatsword, right? With Boots, uh, it was, you know, Tezka, Fear, Red Raptor, Break. So, potentially, if they go the same route as they did with Greatsword, considering as well that Boots and Greatsword are probably, like, equally as popular, or unpopular, I should say, 
they probably will go a two legend break. It probably won't be a boots legend. My guess, if I had to guess, I would say cannon boots or cannon spear. I think. Personally. I don't know, man. Just as long as it's not something fucking important. Like, bro, imagine physically being at the BCX venue. You get to the, the, the big reveal and it's fucking great sword boots, man. Like, I, bro, I'm going home. I don't care. I don't know how. I'm swimming across the fucking ocean, fam. If I have to, taking the rubber dinghy, bro. Immigrating back to the UK because... Well, in that case, I don't think it is immigration, but... You know what I'm saying? I'm going home. Bro, like, that would be... And I know BMG are, like, a useless tone-deaf shit company, but I don't think they're that useless shit and tone-deaf for their big BCX reveal to be <laughs> great sword boots. <laughs> like, but the thing is, I can just see it happening because, it, in a way, it makes sense, right? Because the... You know, Greatsword and Boots are the, the two weapons that have the least amount of legends to them, right? So it's like, if they were trying to, in one go, kind of fill out the roster as much as they could, that would be the play. But it's just that no one fucking enjoys those weapons. Like, or a, a small portion of the, the player base anyway. So I I don't think so. I don't even know if most Greatsword players or most Boots players would be happy even. <laughs> because, do you get what I'm saying? I, I don't think they play both gimmicks. I think they play one. So it's like... Yeah, I, I I I don't know, but you know, I'll never put it past BMG. You know, that's 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 the fucking lesson I've learned over the years, and you know, hopefully I can teach you lot that lesson too. Um, but yeah, man. Other than that, that's basically it for the video. Uh, you know, new legend coming, and I'm, you know, you get excited for that, or get worried for that. You know, either or. Uh, however optimistic or pessimistic you may be. Um, also, I got culture shock yesterday, fam, by you lot, because apparently. I was talking about like daylight savings, right? A lot of countries that you lot live in, I I think America has daylight savings. I'm sure, I think daylight savings is even an American term. So yeah, I'm almost certain America has it. Cause I don't think we call it daylight savings in the UK. Don't know what we call it, but I don't think it's that. But either way, yeah, a lot of you lot don't even have that. Like your clocks never go forward or backwards, which is weird. Um, Well, you know, not weird, I guess, Paul, but you know, to me it's weird. I don't know, like, do, do your days not get shorter in the winter? Like physically, like, do you get what I'm saying? Do you have less daylight in the winter? I guess you wouldn't because if you did, then you would need daylight savings, right? But you don't have daylight savings. I don't know, but that was fucking weird to me, bro. I, at the same time, you will never have to experience the clocks going forward while you're sleeping and just getting one less hour of sleep and then wondering the next day why you feel like ass all day until some old woman. Because it's only the old people, bro, that know when you get what I'm saying? The, the, the clocks go forward and backwards. They, they tell you. They say, oh, the clocks went, went back last night. And you say, oh, that's why I feel like ass, huh? And I just got grabbed by my fucking throat. That was, that was, that was nice. Um, But yeah. But then at the same time, I guess it's like a, it's a net neutral. It's not a positive. It's not a negative. Because then you also get one night of the year where, you get what I'm saying? You get an extra hour of sleep. And that, that day is fucking lovely. Also, other than that, I would like to apologize. Um... I don't even know if brothers would, would be around long enough to from Unless I'm overestimating. Like I said, bro, my sense of time is so far off. But I think anyway that I talked about this ages ago. In my head, I did at least. Or maybe some of you lot will remember. But I, like I said, I think ages ago, I talked about how like chicken burgers and beef burgers. Bro, I, I think chicken burgers are absolutely clear of beef burgers. I think it's not even, to be honest, a debate. Like, I, I'd never had a good beef burger. But I I take it back. I take it back and I have to apologize for my for my words. Well, I don't take back that chicken burgers are better. I still think they are. Just because they're... That was embarrassing. Just because they're more versatile, you know? Um, You know, you can have fried chicken. You can have like buttermilk chicken. You can have, you know, grilled butterflied chicken. You know, you can have all these different... Yeah, I, I don't know. I spicy you know spicy chicken goes really well i mean you can have spicy beef as well i'm sure but yeah i don't know i i, I still i stand by that by that uh by my convictions but anyway um yeah i finally had a good beef burger fam i went to this restaurant it was like a it was like a specialty burger place right uh so you know as i went there i was thinking like i was actually gonna get a chicken burger because i'm just so like bro i've had so many shit beef burgers they're always dry, unseasoned. But here's the thing. I think that's just because I live in the UK. Like, the UK having shit food stereotype, it's not like... I, it's true, but it's over... What's the word? You get what I'm saying? It's like... It's like... Over... 
What the fuck is the word I'm thinking of, bro? Not overrated, like oh, like over exaggerated. Yeah, that's bro. My fucking brain, man. Like it's definitely over exaggerated. The British food is it's just because like a lot of people here, bro. They just they don't know like good food. They don't know seasoning. Like they're not interested in seasoning. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, they're not interested in any spices. Like it's yeah so you know ultimately a lot of food places can get away with just serving shit like bland dry food because brothers enjoy it here you know um so that yeah i think that's why i've just had a lot of shit beef burgers i've always been dry unseasoned but yeah uh, i went to this place they had like one chicken burger yeah okay i'm the goat after all i had one chicken burger or oh, they had one chicken burger like option there and i was thinking like fuck it i'll get it but then i was like you know what this will be my test this will be the, the deciding factor. This will be what confirms or, you know, denies my suspicions. You know, my, my beef burger allegations. And turns out, yeah, bro. You know, I went to this place and it was actually good, bro. It was juicy. It tasted good. It's like, well, it reminded me in a lot of ways. I don't know if this is a good or bad thing of like a McDonald's beef burger. But the thing is with McDonald's, it's like it tastes good. It's just really shit for you. So it's like, I don't know how to feel about that. I forgot McDonald's beef burgers even existed for a second then when I was talking about them. Yeah, I mean, I have enjoyed beef burgers because, I mean, as a kid, bro, of course you enjoy McDonald's. I mean, most kids anyway. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, like I said, I take it back. I actually had a good fucking beef burger and uh, I took that risk and I prospered. So, you know, there we go. Uh, but, yeah, man, it's, it's, I think it's just like minced beef, bro. I, I have an issue with it. I don't know why. I think it's because I just ate it too much. Like, you know, when you eat something too often or it's like, because with cooking, yeah, it, the actual act of cooking is not the, the thing that that gets you. It's not the hard thing. It's the, it's the thinking of meals, like coming up with meals. That's actually the hard part of cooking. So sometimes you'll like finally think of a new meal. Like I, I started making tacos all the time, you know, and they were good, but I had them too often. I got gassed. I broke rule number one of the channel and I got gassed and I made tacos like fucking twice a week fam <laughs> like which might not sound like a lot but bro and then i went off them too much of anything fam will put you off it for life i swear and just minced beef after that as well i just yeah i'm not a fan I'm not a fan of minced beef which, like i said maybe it's just all bias bro maybe it's all bias maybe chicken is is not superior to beef but to me bro chicken is the best meat i don't care i've said this before i've said this numerous times on the channel actually anyway let me think of a hint for zooming in on actually i already know the hint because i already recorded this fucking video Fantastic. Um, yeah, the hint is, think of the Brahala subreddit, think of the Brahala Discord server, think of Brahala Twitter, right? And think of what the average male from those communities looks like. And then let me shout out the channel members. Moro, Mark Brandenburg, Eric's OK, John Well, Pokey Sushi, Fish 62, Actimo, No Waffles, Ashmit Singh, Kenji, Joker, Equus, No Glory, Bargain Boots, Fat Shell, Brass Glory, Din and Jelly, Higemni, X9, McGee, Red Room, Lighter, Brandon Murray, Maxwell Podcast, Ecuador T, Earthman MC, Pinnacle, Ice, Wallow, Edit, Slash, The Can't, Atomic Rule, Luzio, Captain Law, Hammy, Awesome, Controller Mods, The Fat Mouth, Andy Nocturne, Junk Dogs, Bashy, Colourful Alchemy, and Kane. Thank you all so much, you're all the GOATs. Like I said, bro, I'm getting fired from my job today because I'm late as fuck, so you lot are saving me. So, you know, appreciate that. Definitely keep it up. Don't unsubscribe now. Uh, <laughs> and until next time, I love you all. Have a great day. And peace.